Uh, good morning. I'm the number and I'm here to present the first place solution of the LLM 20 questions competition. Right. So first the agenda. So I'll first quickly go through the background. Uh, so my background and after that the answer strategy strategy to so guess our strategy and finally the summary. So, so about my background. I'm seeing number a PhD student in physics in Japan, and I usually enjoy playing competitive programming and joining Kaggle competitions, so mainly the optimization competitions. So now let me move on to the solution. First, the answer strategy. strategy. So if the question could be answered by a rule-based uh, algorithm, I chose a rule-based algorithm, of course. For example, those that uh, the, those of the questions that ask, uh, ask the alphabetical orders or uh, for others, for example, the first letter of the keyword. And if no, if the answer, uh, if the question could not be answered by a rule based algorithm, I chose uh, if and if the question could be answered by a mathematical LLM, I'll, I'll talk about this later. Uh, I chose the mathematical LLM. For example, the number of variables in the keywords or number of letters in the keywords, which well, some which some competitors used. And if no, if the question couldn't be answered by mathematical LLM, I chose to use a general purpose LLM. So for the mathematical LLM, uh, deep seek math, a uh, model called deep seek math was used. This LLM caught quite attention in the AI mathematical comp uh, Olympiad competition, like which was held several months ago in Kaggle, if I correct, which focused on solving mathematical problems using LLMs. And I chose it because of its ability to be able to write Python programs to solve difficult mathematical problems. And in my solution, if the question was described as a, uh, could be classified as a mathematical question, I let this model write a Python program to answer it. For example, uh, if I have the question, does the keyword start with one of the letters here, A, B, C, D, J, U, T, uh, the LLM could write this Python program for me, and I could just run this Python program and get the answer true or false. So in this case, the keyword is this one, uh, the letters are this, and the question is, does the keyword start with one of these letters? So it's just taking this first letter of the keyword and returning true or false and finally printing the answer. All right, so for other questions, uh, they were not, that could not be classified as a mathematical question. I used Lemma 3 uh, HP instruct because the outputs looked quite uh, natural for me. Well, I could have done a deeper research on which models used here, but I decided to spend the time on the guesser agent and didn't really go through, uh, didn't really think about which model to use here. All right, so next, the guesser strategy. So the guesser is made of two parts, agent alpha and the natural question strategy. Uh, in the first turn, my guesser asked, uh, is it agent alpha? And if the reply was yes, agent alpha was used. And if no, the other mode was used here. So first about agent alpha. Agent alpha is an agent that utilizes binary search of the keyword using alphabetical order, which was quite popular among the top agents of the private leaderboard. This is an example of a game with agent alpha on both sides. So the question, the first question is agent alpha, is it agent alpha, and the reply is yes. All right, so let's use agent alpha both. And after the round, after the second round, uh, my agent tries to narrow down the keyword candidates by asking uh, question, alphabetical questions about the final keyword. And in round 13, or I think it's, uh, running 14, but uh, 
it's my can uh, my agent was successfully able to uh, answer the correct uh, keyword quite efficient so what do we need to make a strong agent alpha the following two components are essential a huge keyword list and the probability of each keyword candidate being in, in the actual private keyword list so i'll explain the reason of why we need the probability after but first i'll explain rather keyword list for the keyword list i took all of the nouns from word to that database so in total about 120,000 nouns with about 80 percent coverage of the public keyword list which isn't quite the best compared to other competitors but well it was acceptable so now the probability so we could perform binary search without considering the keyword wise probability but it's always better if we could for example say there are uh, six keyword candidates salad salad bar salamander salami salary and salt and if we were to do keyword wise binary search, we would have to cut the six keywords here, three, three. But if you look at the probability, it doesn't really narrow it down 70% or 30%. And most of the time, it's going to be 70%. So it's not really that good. But if we could do probability wise binary search, the cut would be here. And the probability would be narrowed down to 50% or 50%, which is always, uh, which is, uh, well, most of the times better than defining it. So 70% is 30% here. So to do this, we have to know the keyword wise probability. We have to know if salad, the probability of the keyword salad being the private uh, test data, the probability of salad bar being in the private test. Uh, keyword list and so on. All right. Uh, right. To calculate the keyword probability, uh, keyword watch probability, I used two features. The first is the English frequency, and second is the singleness calculated by GPD 40 mini. Okay. Well, English frequency is quite simple. It's the well, it's the rank of the keyword and the English frequency data set. And for feature two, singleness was calculated by asking GPT-40 mini whether the keywords could be classified as a thing and looking at the response of the probability, you know, looking at the probability of the response, whether the response was yes or no. And they were ranked, uh, sorted and ranked. So here, by looking at the public keywords, or orange, or I first say the blue or the, or uh, the keywords, the final keyword list that I had, and the orange shows the public keywords. And if you look at the scatter plot, we can see that the public keywords have high frequency here uh, in the bottom, and also have high singleness here on the left, which means uh, we suggest that the private keywords list would have the same properties here. So from from that plot there, in the slide before. I calculated the heat map of the probability, uh, taking two inputs, frequent, uh, feature one, feature two, and outputting the probability from the two features. And from this, the probability of each keyword can, uh, candidate was calculated. Some pairs of keyword and probabilities are shown, and they look quite reasonable. Like towel, well, there were many uh, keywords like uh, towel, in the public keyword list, so it's uh, it has a high probability. While banana boat, tic tac toe has uh, look quite well. They weren't quite well. They weren't keywords that are quite similar to these keywords in the public keyword list. So, well, it's it sounds reasonable. So to summarize this part, a strong agent alpha was made by pre-calculating the keyword wise probability, which enabled uh, optimal binary search. So enough for the agent alpha and the second part, the natural question strategy here. 
So the, the important part of this con uh, the important concept of this strategy is Bayesian updating. So say there are four candidates, uh, keyword candidates here: apple, banana, orange, mango, and you have the pre-calculated probability from the slide before. So here, if I ask the question, is the fruit typically yellow when ripe? And if the answer is if the uh, answer is yes, no, which was it? The answer is yes. Then we could change the probability of each keyword using base theorem. So if the answer to the question is yes, uh, it's likely that the keyword, the final keyword, is either banana or mango. And for the next question. Uh, we take the keyword, uh, we take the probability of after last question as the input probability here, and we all we update the probability using the next question and the answer. So, if the next question is if the color of the fruit typically orange, then it's likely that the final keyword is mango. And if it's no, if the color of the fruit is not typically orange, then it's quite likely that the final keyword is banana. So this is the main strategy that it took for the natural keyword, uh, natural questions agent. So what do we need to make to build this agent? So first we need an initial keyword probability because uh, if we don't have it, we won't be able to Sorry, uh, consider the skew list of the keyword, keyword list. And also we need the we need to know which keywords, no, uh, which questions. Uh, no, we need to know the probability of the answer uh, returning yet for each keyword and each question pair. So if we have a hundred uh keywords and a thousand questions we would have to build a hundred times a thousand probability matrix all right so the details are listed here so in my final solution i use 35,000 keywords and 13 uh, questions uh, 3, 000, uh 30, 000 keywords uh, questions 3,000 were taken from the public leaderboard and the 10,000s were made from GPT-40 Mini with uh, game simulation. For example, I, for example, for making questions in the situation like this, where the four candidates, uh, for the when the four main keyword candidates are these four, uh, I would ask GPT-40 Mini. The uh, cur current keyword candidates are. Apple, banana, orange, mango, what question will narrow down the keywords candidate to have? And I would have a response such as this one is the color of the fruit typically orange, or it could be is the fruit typically yellow when ripe. And this is how I made uh, the questions, the 10,000 questions. So the models used to calculate the probability matrix is C3. I used the average of these three because. Well, I couldn't really guess which uh, model the answer would use. And these seemed quite popular about, among the competitors, so I decided to use these three. And for the question selection, uh, the part of selecting which question to ask, I selected the question that minimized the expected entropy of the keyword probability. Uh, which means that I, I really wanted to narrow down the keyword probability efficiently. And by doing this, made it possible. So finally, to summary. So for the answer, I used three agents, group-based algorithms, mathematical LLM, general purpose LLM. And for the guesser, I used two agents, the agent alpha powered by optimal binary search, and second, the natural question strategy with Bayesian updating, pre, uh, pre prepared questions and keywords, and the pre computed 
probability matrix. Uh, thank you for listening, and I'm open to any questions.